Hey guys, Deeks here with another video, and it has been a while since I've made a video, but today we're going to be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Throughout this video, I'm going to try to explain why I haven't been uploading so much and why I've kind of been inactive. So a big reason I haven't been uploading is just because of the fact that I kind of make excuses for myself. A lot of the time, I just think to myself, I just, I don't have time, I don't have enough time to do it. I, you know what, I'm just going to quit. And looking back at it, I actually didn't have enough time. Like, I had a lot of stuff going on, and I could have made time for YouTube, but I decided to prioritize other things, and it just didn't work out. YouTube just wasn't in the priorities and in my honest opinion i think that youtube should have been in the priorities because i have all these supporters that support me through everything and i kind of just gave up on them after making all these excuses i've decided today that i kind of want to come back into a constant upload schedule or some kind of schedule to get me back into up the videos are most likely going to be on bo2 or any kind of call of duty just because i enjoy call of duty cut comes more than i like any other kind of video the reason i enjoy bo2 cut comes so much or any kind of call of duty cut com is just for the main fact that i can get straight to the point while playing the game and i'm actually decent at call of duty all right we finally got a map that isn't too big in size but i'm also very bad at this map just because there's so many close players and i'm very bad at watching my corners i also haven't gotten used to playing on 12, 14 yet so i'm still playing on 12 because it's i just came back to this game it's kind of difficult for me to just play on such a high sensitivity making youtube videos isn't really the difficult task of trying to upload frequently or consistently it's more of the editing and the time i have to edit like right now it's 1 30 in the morning and i have school tomorrow one of the main reasons it takes me so long to you know edit these videos is because i kind of just cut calm until i have enough or think i have enough and it's probably around an hour long that i'm trying to edit and that takes a while, and then it takes a while to render, because I'm trying to make the video at least decently long, but not long, too long that you guys don't want to watch it. So I make it, try to make it about around five to seven minutes, and I try to put some funny things, or just, like, if it's important, I try to put it to where it's me talking, what I'm talking about. So I've talked about the YouTube, why I haven't been uploading. It's more excuses than anything, and I'm going to try to make time for it. I'm going to try to get back to consistently uploading. But other than that, I'm just going to play and see what happens, and I might talk to you guys about other things. Um, including other things like that if you guys don't follow me already on Twitter it's gonna be on the screen right now come up uh, but if you guys don't already follow me on Twitter I would greatly appreciate you following me on Twitter because and turning the notifications on trying to stay active because that's where you're gonna get most of the updates for YouTube on if I could really get back into making cut comms or making videos at all I would really like to join like a team as a director and kind of work my way up the reason that I am trying to start making videos again is probably because of VKs and there because you guys don't know him he's a bo2 content creator he's like a director for dare but just he makes me want to try for teams again as a director little bit of barrel stuff but that was still a nice shot all right so i switched up the class a little bit so that you guys don't get too bored from watching oh, i just hit market barrel stuff kid came up i just hit market him If you guys don't already know, the reason I, if I cough in the video or something as I'm speaking is because I'm going to try to cut as many as I can out of it, but I just kind of started laughing. It's because I have chronic bron bronchitis right now, activated from breathing in too many fumes of bleach or hair dye, and the reason I'm doing it on my face cam is just because I don't have it set up at the moment. Hopefully I'll have it set up by the next video, but um, my hair is actually blonde, at the but breathing in too many of those fumes activated my bronchitis, and it just went from there, and I was in the hospital. I just got hit markered. Okay. Apparently, somebody hit markered me and hit a shot. No. Uh -oh. uh, it was a barrel stuff, but it was a. It, it was almost a collat, actually. That's kind of wild. Oh, that was nice. Oh my gosh. That was a nice shot. 
I got the reload and everything. That really looked like I had aimbot on, but I swear I didn't have aimbot on for that. Ooh, I just got build. Yo, me and this Dare and Anavec guy, we just keep going back and forth with the build camps. Oh, yes. That was definitely nicer than mine. Well, it was definitely more complex than mine. He had more NSL, but it was definitely more complex. But props to him, he just build me. Oh, that was a barrel stuff. Oops. I wasn't really trying to go for the kid on the ladder. I was trying to go for the kid behind the ladder, like on the inside of the building. One of my dream shots on this map. I've had a few dream shots on this map before that I, like personally for me, one of my first ever dream shot was to hit that double wall bang right there. And I ended up hit marking, which, which I hate. But uh, then my second dream shot, well, actually ended up hitting again. I hit markered at first and hit, hit it. And then another dream shot of mine was to hit from there, inside there. And I hit that too. And then another dream shot that was my first ever shot on this map, or actually on Black Ops 2, was where I did a shotgun knack right through the wall, double, double wall. And it was really nice. It's currently 2.20 in the morning. I've been recording for almost an hour. And I don't know why I'm still up. And I still have to edit this video. And I'm probably going to be up all night. And I have to work after school today. So that's going to be fantastic. Didn't even get an attempt this game. So this guy's not really a bad trick shot. He's just he does a lot of NSL. First attempt. I didn't even jump down all the way. That is. Oh. Oh, he didn't even let me finish it. Wow, that was that was not nice. Well, I'm upset about that. It's Andre's, but that's a new one. Hopefully, this guy hit. So they got a 360. Okay, so it's pretty much a 360 nag. Uh, in my opinion, I think the best people at trick shotting are those people that do really complex NSL, but at the same time, they're moving towards the edge to go off the edge. You can't even tell that they're really doing NSL. Oh, that was a nice shot. That was a nice shot. It was very simple, but it was pretty nice. Also, for this video, guys, I'm going to be using my Blue Snowball microphone. I have a Blue Snowball and a Blue Yeti. The Blue Snowball costs around 60 bucks, and the Blue Yeti costs about 150 uh, The next video, I'm going to be using the Blue Yeti. I'm going to need you guys to tell me which one you guys think is better.
Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. If you guys could please, let's try to smash 25 likes on this video. If we could do that, that would be insane. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy Deeks. I'm out, guys. Peace.